All right, all right, it is a new day. Another beautiful, blessed day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be so glad in it. Now I want to come back with this part two, talking about apostasy, just to go a little bit further, because the Bible warns us plenty of times, and it warns us very hard about apostasy. And like I said in the previous video, that apostasy tears up the body of Christ. And it make me go back to John the Baptist. Y'all remember back in the Bible when John the Baptist was baptizing all them people in the Jordan River. And there was some people around that thought they was righteous. And they thought they was producing fruit. And, and the Bible tells us, you know a tree by its fruit. And right now as I speak, it's a lot of people walking around like they so righteous. They so holy. They know it all. They can tell you who's going where. And when Jesus taught, mm, let's go back to the Sermon on the Mount. He said, every tree is known by its fruit. And he even went on a little deeper and said that every tree does not bear good fruit and they will be cut down and thrown into the fire oh I love how the way Jesus taught how he always taught how he used parables when he spoke how they listened and then a lot didn't listen and right now a lot of people are not listening but at the same time a lot of people are not teaching see it's people going around here in these churches thinking just because they laying hands on people that just because they might be speaking in tongue and so-called filled with the Holy Ghost and they got a lot of people fooled but they don't have me fooled you know why because I know a tree by its fruit and oh on judgment day see following Jesus it's way more than just saying, oh, I'm a Christian. Let me say that again. Following Jesus is way more than just saying, I'm a Christian. See, the devil know how to do all those things. People forget that. The devil know how to pray. The devil can outspeak you in tongue. The devil know how to sing. The devil know all about worship. He can speak in tongue. He can quote scriptures better than you. And a lot of people claim Christ as their Savior, but those who are truly saved bear visible fruit. Now, what are you talking about with this fruit, JT? You're talking about apples and oranges? Well, I didn't get on camera to, 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 to tell you about apples and oranges. When I say fruit, I'm talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we all know what they are. Do you have that love? Do you have that joy? that peace? Do you have that kindness, that goodness, that faithfulness? Do you have that gentleness? And one that most people don't have is self-control. Then you have the other types of the fruit like praise. See, people don't teach this. Ain't that right, PP drawings? Praise. Ain't that right, PC crowd? I'm talking about praise, true praise. And then the other one, What's the other one? Winning souls. Winning souls. I had somebody just a few minutes ago comment on my video because of, oh, he said the word Jesus again. All people are concerned about, a lot of them are just sitting up trying to win an argument, a debate. His name is not Jesus. His name is not God. His name is Yasu. Now, I don't... Yahshua, I done did plenty of videos talking about that. See, that's why it's personal. And I hope you're looking at this video too because I call him all of that when I was down, when I was struggling, when, when I didn't have no job, he was my provider. When I was sick, he was my healer. He was my Jehovah Jireh. He always made a way, my provider. He's Jesus. He's all of that. All of these names. So whether you're talking about English names or Hebrew or Aramic or whatever, that's your debate. I know God personally. And he said, JT, it's fine with me. 
because you know who I am. He said, I know my child's voice. So people that sit up and debate about the names of Christ and God and all that, y'all in the category by y'all self, but not to jump off into that. That's why JT try his best to have these fruits of the spirit. See, I'm about soul winning. I ain't about how much money in your pocket. I'm not about getting on camera or off camera in your church to give you a feel good sermon. I'm not about how much money in your pocket. You can skip past me with that. I'm more concerned about salvation, your soul. Because what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? So this apostasy is so far deep. When you go to Ephesians, uh, I want to say chapter 1, you get around verse 13 through 14, it teaches that God has sealed us with the Holy Spirit. He sealed us. Even in the book of John, it affirms that no one is able to take God's sheep out of his hand. See, you can't take me away from God. It's a whole lot of other scriptures that say the same thing. True believers is what I'm talking about now. Being secure in your salvation. That's why Paul tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians to examine ourselves. Most people got a problem with examining themselves. Everybody want to prove a point nowadays. He right, he wrong. He ain't teaching right, he ain't teaching. And what's sad ain't it, uh, Brother P.P. Jones, don't none of us know it all. We got people sitting around fussing and arguing like they know it all. In reality, man, we don't know it all. Don't even know half of it. And when you talk about examine yourself, that's thrown out the door now. As a matter of fact, I know preachers that won't even examine themselves, but not all of them. That's why in Christians' lives, there are times when there is no visible fruit. Why would you say something like that, JT? Because when you can't see your fruit, when you live in a sinful life, because that's the time when we sin and be disobedient. But if we can learn to be like King David back in Psalms 51, he prayed to the Lord. But see, but look at his prayer. He said, restore to me the joy of salvation. A lot of people don't care nothing about salvation nowadays. Restore to him the joy of salvation. See, in so many ways, we lose our joy of salvation. I didn't say salvation. I say we lose our joy of salvation when we are sinning. If you in the faith, you better test yourself. Let me say that again. If you are in the faith, you better test yourself and you better test others. The Bible says test the spirit by the spirit and you can't test the spirit unless you have the spirit in you this is why I don't sit around and listen to no bootleg crooked preacher I'm testing him oh JT you judging him the Bible say you make a righteous judgment discerning see people need to learn the difference between righteous judging and they're straight up judging somebody you better test yourself if you're in the faith it's time out for mess. It's time for true repentance and giving up this mess. Because we living in a world where everything is becoming right that's supposed to be wrong. Now, before I close, I want to look at, take another look at this word apostate and how we recognize them. What is them? Who is them? An apostate is someone who abandons his faith, or some might say religion. But see, I don't teach religion. I teach relationship. And they never really receive Christ as the Savior. You know anybody like that? Let's go back just for a moment. And I'm not going to be on it long. But just look at the uh, parable of the sower. We talked about on here. If you ever want to see that video. Video, excuse me. The parable of the sower is a good example. In the soil. When you think about a person who's claiming to be something they not. But look at how many others they can draw in. And then here's the problem. Look at how many Christians are laying away to the side. Like many man was just saying in his video, sitting back, letting everything go on. 
in the book of first john it says those who do this demonstrating what those apost apostate those people like that john say they are demonstrating that they are not true believers these apostates really much are people who win who who when they leave the faith yeah i said leave the faith they give evidence they was never saved in the first place people we are living in some trying times we are living in some evil evil days let's keep each other lifted up let's keep praying for one another this is just all out of love y'all know me when i come on earth it's out of love and to the people that can't stand me keep on not standing me because i ain't worried about you liking me i'm not worried about what you got to say because i'd rather have you mad at me than christ mad at me because see if you meet me and forget me you ain't lost a thing but if you don't come into the knowledge of god and don't know who the father is and not trying to get there you lost it all. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.